Hey, Vintage Breakers, YouTubers, Twitchers, Instagrammers, Facebookers. Back scratchers. Right. We're about to open a 1980 Tops Baseball pack for you. If you like what you see, go visit our or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Vintage Breaks, we have thousands of videos just like this. You can watch them anytime you want, from anywhere that you want, as long as you have internet access. You think that uh, there's internet access? Uh, you know, Santa Claus has that with the reindeers when he's riding on the sled tonight, all that stuff. You think he has any internet access? Oh, he's definitely got his own Wi-Fi. He's got Wi-Fi, right? Oh, he's totally. What about Tooth Fairy? You think Tooth Fairy has Wi-Fi? Um, yeah, I don't know. Probably, you know. Maybe the links, you know. You think they do? I don't know. I always wondered about that. You ever wonder if, like, you think, like, like, like Snuffleupagus, you know, like, he, he just appears out of nowhere? Uh -huh. You think he's a hologram? Like, the to like there's a Tupac and Notorious Big hologram? Do you think Snuffy's a hologram? It could be. Could be, right? Yeah. yeah. I thought, what do you guys think? <laughs> All right. Anyway, Easy Tops Baseball, Pack 106. We're gonna uh, roll the dice here, see what we get six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, I definitely think Snuffleupagus was uh, was a little bit more than a hologram, right? Like I think that that Big Bird actually, you know, they used to like hang out and stuff. And then one day, all of a sudden, everyone got upset because Big Bird had an imaginary friend. But, like, who didn't have an imaginary friend in, when they were, like, eight or nine in, like, the 1980s? I don't know. I, you know, it could have been the water. I don't know what they were serving us back then. Uh, something. Something's not right. All right, Tim. They'll hook you up with the Ripken. And you got two spots in our... <coughs> Snap a winner take all. I just I just don't know. I mean, I've been trying to figure it out. I'm just not sure what's going on with that stuff. I, you know, Chef, I thought, you know, what do you think about this, Doug? What if dog was really spelled cat? You know what I mean? C-A-T. That's deep. Ted, Chef, I'm not sure. You know? I mean, you know, there's some words that are spelled the same frontwards and backwards. Yeah. yeah. Can you think of one? Otto. Like Otto Graham. Yeah. Otto's name spelled the right same frontwards and backwards, spelled the same way. Right? Anna, same thing. You know what I mean? Menomena, spelled same way, backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Mark Aram. Card one is yours under the gum. Listen, when you get like, when you're averaging three hours sleep for the night, for the week, you're going to ask if the Tooth Fairy has Wi-Fi, you know? Jamie, here's a real question. Did your wife laugh or did she just shake her head? Because I got to admit, like my wife hasn't laughed at a joke of mine probably in 14 years, but that one she might laugh at. <laughs> Zero <laughs> Zoltan. Remember that from Dude Where's My Car? Phil Garner, spot one. Mark Mike Jorgensen, spot two. Zoltan. That's for the chef. Dan Spilner. Spot three. That's good. That's good. I could use the ego stroke right now, man. Ross Grimsley, spot four. I mean, it. But let's be let's be realistic here, right? So, like, yeah, if if like, you know, like I have Wi-Fi, so like the the Tooth Fairy has Wi-Fi. Dope, dope customs. I hope you're not listening. Uh, Dave Rosen, a five. But it is a it's a legitimate. These are legitimate questions. Uh, it's for Chef Spot Six for Chef Darrell Thomas. I mean, you really got to think about this for a second. Do you think that when, uh, in 1980, when the uh, machine was assembling and assorting the cards for these packs, do you think that it knew that it was going to give you Darrell Thomas at spot six and Daryl Jackson at seven? I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure it really thought that through. I am not delirious yet. I wish I was drinking, bro. I haven't, but I'm not. This is just this is just straight arrow nonsense that I'm spewing right now. Mike Schmidt, Michael Jack Schmidt, eight for Jason Mayer, Davy Lopes, spot nine. I mean, this is just craziness, right? Spot 10, Todd Cruz. Don't worry, guys. The earth is round. That I, you know, I'm, I'm right there with you. Daryl Knowles. Not no. No. Sucks. I'm not sure what Kyrie's on right with that one, but you know. Rod Carew, 12. Poor Kyrie. Hey, where's my man, uh, Colonel Angus? You think he's chasing Bigfoot right now? <laughs> he, he's a big Sasquatch. Uh, you know that, right? Harry Henderson? No, no. There's actually a Sasquatch convention every year. Oh, wow. Many of them. He's been there. He has a hair from Sasquatch. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. We haven't talked about that in a while, guys. Hey, if, if, uh, if Colonel Angus makes his way into the show, ask him about his collection of Sasquatch hairs. He's got, he's got, <laughs> he's got one. I should have Tops contact him. They can put it on an Allen and Ginter card. They can have a, a Sasquatch relic. I wonder if it had dandruff. Joe Sambito, 15. I'm not sure what's going on with the Sasquatch. Nope, Uranus is not my favorite planet. That would be Earth, Bob. I gotta admit, I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm um, I'm loyal to my home base here. You know, Earth. Love Earth. Where would we be?